Greetings. This is Dr. Naresh Trihan, the Chief Cardiac Surgeon at Medanta the Medicity and Chairman and Managing Director of Global Health. Today being World Heart Day, it's a good opportunity for us to revisit what are the happenings in the recent past that have affected our hearts and our general health. What we have seen recently, especially from the time of COVID, that a large number of people have lost their lives at a young age also. And the reasons that we as cardiologists, as surgeons, as physicians have been able to analyze it, that there are two aspects in India. One, by and large, India has one of the highest incidence of heart disease. The second thing is history of heart disease then the children have a much higher chance of developing heart disease than a, a somebody who does not have history of heart disease in the family. So that is why the first thing we say today is know your genes. It's very easy to know the genes, you know the family history. So that means that that person is already vulnerable to heart disease. Secondly, there are many other things, especially diabetes. If one of your parents has diabetes, then the children will have a 25% chance of developing diabetes. If the, both the parents by any bad luck have diabetes, then 50% of, the of the children will get diabetes. That means just these two diseases itself, which covers about 18 to 20% of our population, can be take corrective action, preventive action, we recommend that anybody who has history of diabetes, hypertension, uh, heart disease in the family, they should have their first checkup by the age of 25. That's when we can determine whether there are risk factors that are already appearing in a person's body and corrective action can be ta taken very early so that, that we do not give an opportunity for heart disease to develop or diabetes to develop or hypertension to develop. Now you'll be surprised to know that 26% of executives that we studied, we studied 10,000 executives who had came for a preventive check, that 26% of them did not know that they had high blood pressure. So that's why we want people to know that they have the possibility of or a higher possibility of developing certain diseases and at the same time we do this preventive immediately. So we hope that by do, doing all this, by warning people about the, the footprints that they have in their family, that we can actually prevent heart attacks, collapse from heart attacks, early death from or premature death from heart problems, and also, of course, kidney failure because of high blood pressure. And diabetes is your biggest pro uh, problem because people who have diabetes, the whole body gets affected. And heart is one of the major organs that gets affected by diabetes and kidney is the other. So today I think it's time to reflect that if we want to live a healthy life, one, there are practices that we introduce into our daily routine, like regular exercise at least four to five times a week, at least a brisk walk, if not a more intense exercise for 30 to 40 minutes a day. You incorporate yoga into your life also, maybe two, three times a week, because that by itself reduces the full stress in the body, improves your lung function, also improves your thinking power. I can tell today that the youth is very vulnerable to these diseases. We see a very high incidence of it. And if you can exercise that caution today, get your regular checkup. If you don't have any history of diabetes or heart disease in the family, then by the age of 30, every individual should be to have a regular checkup in which we can identify the risk factors going forward. So in other words, today we have the ability to write what we say, the Janampatri of health for every individual. And I think that people should take advantage of it to be able to live longer, but live healthier longer, which is even more important.